Alrighty guys, what is up? Um, you guys are right here in the center. My PlayStation camera is up above, and I am smack dab right here. Welcome to Will to Kill Gaming. I am Will to Kill, yours truly, and this is PlayStation VR. Uh, I've done a lot of videos of this in the past uh, few months, and um, right now we are playing a game called Robinson: The Journey. And basically, that is not Earth down there. It is a totally different planet. Can't remember the name of it actually, EDOS 5 or some shit like that. But uh, this is space, and uh, there's a sun obviously for this galaxy. And uh, you have your extras, and you have your play game, and you have your options. Well, right now we're gonna go and play game. This is done entirely with a DualShock 4, so don't worry about it. We're actually gonna go ahead and load where we were. Loading takes a while in this game, it kind of sucks, but you guys are watching, and I'm gonna have fun. Woo! Um, note, uh, something important to know is that while we're in the waiting screen or loading screen is I don't play with like those jittery controls where you slowly turn. I'm a very fluent player of VR, so I basically try to make it as less retarded as possible. Um, not everybody can play in those settings Laid like I can, but I can. Work. Times were desperate after the deep space event. It nearly destroyed us. We couldn't live as we had before it. Some had to do without. Those whose children wouldn't make it to Tyson 3 suffered terribly. Thankfully, they stopped the madness, but people weren't comfortable working together after that. We didn't realize it, but the colony mission was in jeopardy. You were Columbus crew, of course, selected for your genes. You are a born survivor, Robin. Huh. Alright guys, so I'm gonna let you guys in on some stuff going on around the world right now. I actually think... Good. Nothing like a spot of tidying, eh, Robin? Now there's nothing to stop us getting to the pterosaur's roost. What? Well, basically, you're on this, you know, plant with dinosaurs and everything like that, and um, we're doing a lot of crazy crap. To drop. We must make Robin take better care of these. How can I make farming interesting to a child? It was very fortunate we found a growbot. You'd have run out of food long ago if this chap wasn't so diligent. Kind of farming right now. Power output optimal. Excellent. Hey, douchebag, come on. This thing is not wanting to cooperate with me. Oh, there you go. That should save those plants for the time being. Woo! 
it was, uh, let's see, I'm not talking much because, one, I didn't realize how taxing VR actually is on you sometimes. But, uh, basically this is a VR game where it's about exploring the planets and, uh, doing small puzzles. And you can even take a zip line down. It's actually pretty slow, but it's pretty cool. We're going to see if we can go uh, fly a paper airplane around. And as you guys can see, I'm pretty fluent in VR, and that does not yeah, hurt my eyes. Is. I'll add that one straight away. Yeah! What? They did- <laughs> That is awesome! They did a trophy update now where you can actually see your trophies pop. That is perfect. So, BAM! Woo! That's freaking dope. Laika, come! Boosh! Well that was lost, and I just got that trophy for flying the paper airplane, so I'm pretty happy right now. Now this is a pretty chill game actually. You point, you shoot, you do all that kind of stuff, you solve puzzles. The game actually looks really good. In VR, this 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 this, it, this game looks gorgeous. Anyways, we got other sections we gotta go to, so let's go ahead and go down. That's all right there in front of us is our way out, but we're not going that way just yet. This is our farm. That's a grow bot right there. A lot of vegetation. Good job. Alrighty. We should go find Laika real quick. Laika's my pet dinosaur, you guys will see her in a few. Where's it gone? Your friend. It's missing. Don't panic. I'm sure it just went home. We should go back there too. Come on. We've actually achieved quite a lot today when you think about it. You helped me defeat the pterosaurs at the farm, with only a small risk to yourself. You helped a lost child back to its family without getting squashed. 
And perhaps most impressively, you navigated your way through that hostile jungle with all the skill and bravery of a great adventurer. Maybe we should do more of this exploring thing. Another reason why... Oh, I forgot what his name... I forgot what his name is. That guy right there. The laser <laughs> this is actually a great tool to point with things. That guy, I forgot what his name is, but he's awesome. He's a little floating sphere that's with me. He always talks and stuff. He's basically a personal commentator. Um, that little mouse thing. Field mouse. That's a waterfall. Looks pretty gorgeous. That's just a nook up there. We gotta go there, so. Cool, we're almost done. Wait, where am I? Doesn't show. That's odd. Alright, well, we're going home. What do you think makes it disappear? My guess, and I base this on a thorough examination of the evidence, is that it is searching out its family. Instincts, genes, family connections. You understand that sort of thing, I know. They are always a more powerful drive than friendships, especially friendships with those of a different species. Farm. The scarecrow is still in pieces by the SOS sign. Scarecrow? Oh, that's my little escape pod right there. That's my house. I'm about to go in there. friend will be just like that monster Where out there, going? four meters tall and very hungry. Look at the state of this thing. To think we've spent so long trying to keep dinosaurs out of our camp and now we've gone and let one in. Let's fix the scarecrow. It's going to need two arms, a head and a hat to be useful. The multi-tool will fix this up in no time. Very good. Excellent. Well done. There you go. Whee! Already cleaned the toilet. Alright, we're going. We're exiting this area. Down to this fence. Anything could run straight through it. Wait, that doesn't include you. What? You're going through there after your pet? What about the fence? 
Leica, come. I don't care about the defense, man. I want my pet. The risks you take for that animal. I hope it's worth it. I wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't just run off to find its tribe. It's a wild animal. After all, it has no love, only instincts. Her name is Lyca. I know you're fond of it, but I personally won't ever call it a name. Wild animals don't have names. Just what because you got through that jungle unscathed doesn't mean you can go into the graveyard. We locked that fence for a reason. I must say, this is huge. There's no way she could have found her way across there. You guys ready? Typical. I'm going to shut up now so you can concentrate. You can... No. Oh shit! <laughs> Woo, that was, that was Just bad. Just because you got through that jungle unscathed doesn't mean you can go into the graveyard. We locked that fence for a reason. This is my first time being in the graveyard, so you guys get to see something really cool. There's no way she could have found her way across there. <gasps> oh shit! Right. Do the drill. Don't look down. Be careful of the updraft. If you feel like you're slipping, just uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Okay, what a relief back on solid ground. Just so you guys know that was one big freaking dinosaur. Sinker, I wouldn't be so sure of that. You're turning into quite the naturalist. Hey, Laika. Now, all right, come on, Laika. Where are you? I'm looking for my pet dinosaur, and I don't know where she is. She got this far though, that's weird. Hey, wait, this is where we got Leica from. That's where Leica hatched. At the very beginning of the game, obviously. We've taken a turn back towards the tar pit. Keep an eye out for long necks. Processing now. Mind your head. We're still coming, girl. I wonder 
what killed the long neck? Ah, Jeez. possibly this piece of ship debris. Poor creature, really quite fragile in the end. Don't worry, girl. You're fine. I'm... Well done, Robin. You've impressed me again with your adventuring. But now we've got your pet, I think it's time we head straight back home. What was that? Look, your pet knows that roar. It might be the same to run.